Okay, uh, so this week we are talking about so, uh, what is uh, machine learning. So we will give a very basic introduction about machine learning. Um, and on this week's lab, so we will get familiar with the tool that we will use uh, through this entire semester that is called uh, Rapid Miner. Uh, so hopefully you all have downloaded and also installed Rapid Miner on your own um, computer. All right, so we know that uh, machine learning now has been a very hot topic, so, and, and also the artificial intelligence. Um, so this is from AWS and that uh, in 2019, that you can see that the huge demand, there are huge demands of jobs that in the area of the artificial intelligence um, and also machine learning. Uh, so I guess that's also the reason that why uh, you want to take this class. And so uh, this class will talk the basics of the machine learning. Uh, so because they are, they are, they are huge, of, there are a lot of stuff that you have to understand uh, to be uh, AI engineers. So this class just give you an introduction of the machine learning so that after this class, hopefully, uh, a lot of uh, terminologies will make sense to you and also you can start to learn more about machine learning um, on your own. Uh, so why we have machine learning in, in intelligence analysis? Uh, I think you uh, you must have seen this one, uh, this article that I shared it multiple times that uh, again in the past that people do the um, gather the information, analyst gather the information, and then they save the information into a file store, and they produce the report to their customer. However, uh, in the near future, actually or nowadays, that because the data, the amount of data is becoming huge and huge, and human cannot process those data with their brains. So we need to use some tools, the modern tools, technologies, to consume those huge amount of data, the big data. So we have database that we can store the information into database. And then we have different tools that can understand the patterns from the database. And also we can create some report like by using some visualization tools. So that is how the costs are um, organized uh, in, in our program. So in 340, we already have learned that all you are going to learn that um, how we can organize data in different databases. So like relational database, uh, non-relational database. Uh, and also we talked, we, I mentioned uh, data warehouse and also data lake. And in 342, we, we have learned uh, the most popular business intelligence tool. So that is Tableau. Um, and how we can use Tableau to uh, analyze data and also visualize data. And in this class, we are going to use uh, the artificial intelligence tool so that how the machine, that AI tools, that how the machine can understand the data and also can make predictions and also can uh, ident identify the patterns, etc. And all three together is actually what they call data mining. So, uh, Data mining is a, is a little bit uh, old concept. Uh, at the same that uh, it, it has not been mentioned a lot nowadays. So now we, we are focused on big data, AI, BI, etc. And of course, we all have to take the, um, the 341, the Python, which is uh, the class that get you prepared for the, for the other classes. So this class, um, if we have time, and we will also use some Python tools, um, see that how we can use Python to learn machine learning. But the most of the time that we will use Rapid Miner, which does not require any programming um, skills. Okay, uh, so artificial intelligence, machine learning, also deep learning. So those are all very hot topics. Uh, so basically, actually, uh, artificial intelligence that uh, contains machine learning all um, it become uh, possible is because most likely because we use machine learning models 
And deep learning is, is part of the machine learning models. So that is kind of concept uh, between among those three um, terminologies. So basically artificial intelligence means that the, the machines uh, can perceive the environment as human beings and they can take actions accordingly. So that is a very, very genetic definition of the artificial intelligence. So if the computers or if the machines can see the difference of the environment and also they can take uh, a response accordingly, depending on the different environment, so that is uh, artificial intelligence. And most artificial intelligence become success because um, some of the artificial intelligence are supported or are powered by the machine learning. So machine learning is a kind of a process of the technology that machine that will take the data and they will learn the data and analyze the data and also they will make predictions. Okay, so machine learning, machine learning is all about data and also all about models. Uh, deep learning is, but is becoming a hot topic. Actually, it is a, a subset of the machine learning models. So uh, deep learning uh, is one type of the neural network, so which we will talk uh, in a future week. And because the GPU um, uh, graphic process unit that um, we can process images uh, more fast, or we can process the data that in the matrix very faster. So that makes deep learning uh, very, very efficient. So right now, um, deep learning is uh, has been used in process images. So most of the time they are used to process images, also natural language processing. So um, that's the one type of the machine learning models. And that's one type to be more specific, deep learning is one type of the artificial neural network model, which is one type of the machine learning model. And I think I also mentioned what is data science. Um, so data science requires three um, pieces of the knowledge. So the um, your domain knowledge, so you're, you're all uh, expert in artificial intelligence. And also, you should also understand the math and also statistics. So, especially from um, and those hiking skills. So, hiking skill is is the capability that you can use computers. So, you can use computer to do something that for you. And you can see that uh, machine learning is actually an intersection um, between hacking skills and also mathematics or statistics. Uh, because machine learning is actually like that like computer to make predictions to identify the mathematical patterns uh, from the data. Uh, if you only know that how to use computer and also and also plus your domain knowledge, so let's say we use right minor, uh, and also you, you your domain knowledge is artificial intelligence, and without knowing the mathematics. Uh, it will be dangerous because uh, the mathematical models behind those machine learning uh, tools are very important. So we should have a very basic understanding of those mathematical models. So that is very important. And also use those tools like either Python or RightMind, and that is also important. And also you have your domain knowledge in artificial intelligence. So all three together then you will be a very great uh, data scientist. Okay, uh, so, and this slide is from the AWS. So that is a typical machine learning process. Uh, so this is all from the, uh, a business perspective. And I think that also apply to other domains. Uh, so first you have to identify your problem. So what is objective that you are trying to analyze? I think that is a very critical um, part. So now you're all working, preparing for a capstone project. So many of you may consider that using machine learning or AI uh, in your capstone project. So you have to identify a problem that can be answered uh, 
by machine learning uh, techniques. Uh, so the, the the problem can be very should be very very clear and also uh, should have a question and that the answer can be evaluated. And then you need to collect your data. You need to integrate data from different resources, and also you need to do the data cleaning part. And also you have to understand your data. So data visualization is a great and also important tool that by example you can use Tableau to analyze your data. For the data uh, collection and also organization, you can use uh, PostgreSQL, so -Call. you can use Cloud RDS, or you can use MongoDB. And the next part is called feature engineering, uh, model training, and also model evaluation. So uh, we'll talk those steps uh, in more details in the following weeks. So that part that we are, we are doing, we are selecting machine learning models. And then in a real world scenario, so you want to make, you want to deploy your model so that you need to um, monitor and also debug your model um, when you deploy that one in the real production uh, environment. And when you find, when you find, identify some problems, you may need to go back to, to repeat those process. Uh, so, the data collection and also cleaning part we we'll kind of cover that in three forty class. Visualization and also analysis we we'll kind of cover that one in the three forty two class. And in this class we we'll are focus on this part so that feature engineering, model training, and also model evaluation. So especially we we'll are introduce different type of those machine learning models to so the basic machine machine learning models and so that you will get familiar that and you will choose the best models that for you. So what we all learn from this class. So we will introduce some mathemat uh, mathematics uh, and also statistics. So we are so those are very superficial. So uh, we have we you we all took the statistics and so basically we want to review some statistics and now we will introduce some uh, fundamental statistics that are very, very important for machine learnings. Uh, our textbook introduced a scikit-learn, so that the most uh, popular Python, one of the most popular Python libraries. So uh, if you're interested, you can follow the textbook and then you can install your own Python library to do that. So we are not going to do that in this class, okay? But we will introduce some mathematics. Uh, Jupyter Notebook is a great environment for machine learning. So if you are interested in scikit-learn and you can use Jupyter Notebook. So we, we use that one in the, um, I think in the 340. Uh, so if you're interested, you can let me know. And there are a lot of, I have a lot of uh, YouTube tutorials that can cover Jupyter Notebook. So, but we will not, if we have time, probably we will do something on in the class, but if not, uh, that is not the focus of, the, of this class. The focus of this class will be using RIP Miner. So RIP Miner is a software that can easily to use uh, to, to, build, to build your machine learning models without the knowledge of the program. So we, uh, so hopefully by the end of this semester, you will be an expert in RIP Miner. And we will also introduce AWS a little bit. So at the end of this semester, especially we'll use AI services. So those are all browse based. Uh, you can all uh, just open your browser and also you can just click and you can deploy your AI uh, service. Okay. So hopefully, so by the end of this class, so you want to know something, you are very familiar with React Miner. And also you can confidently use some AR services on um, Amazon, AWS. Uh, we are, we are introduce a little bit about the mathematics, but we will skip, um, probably highly likely we will skip the Python part in this class. Uh, however, if you are you, if you are interested in Python, so those are some other Python resources that I highly recommend. Um, 
but uh, but we will not have time to cover this part in uh, in this lecture in this class.